The Locomotive Stories, Episode 2, Turkey Baked, Part 1. It was a dark and stormy night on the island of Sodor, and everyone was getting ready for Thanksgiving. There was a big storm coming, but no one knew it. Meanwhile, Fearless Freddy was working hard in the mountains. He would constantly get stuck due to how much he was pulling. Ugh. I can't wait till this day is over. I really want to get back in my warm snug shed and rest my axles and pistons. He was heading towards the signal box, but he was too distracted from the sky. He didn't see until it was right in front of him. Oh no! I must stop! <sighs> that was close. Hello there. I see you're out here working at night too. The points have been switched. He went the wrong way. And then... Ow! Oh no! Hey! Why in the world would you do that? Watch where you're going! <sighs> wow. That was a wreck. Whoops. Sorry. I didn't see the points were switched into the siding. Anyways, hello, Freddy. Howdy. I've been working outside this whole night. Ugh. Too much work for me to handle, really. I'm just looking forward to Thanksgiving already, just so I can take my break. Aw, why are they making you work so hard? Because it's almost Thanksgiving. They want everything to be perfect when it comes around this year. I have to go now, though. My signal is green. Goodbye. Luke felt bad, but he thought hard. Maybe he can deliver his loads for his friend, secretly, as a surprise. Oh, oh, oh! Hey, Victor! What happened to Rusty? He crashed and broke down. I shunted him here so we could get some fuel. Wow, I hope he feels better. Um, I was looking for Freddy's trucks. Have you seen them? I think those are it right there. Duncan delivered them. Oh, I didn't even see them there. Thank you! Luke was very energetic about it. He was excited that his friend was going to be helped out. He bustled back and forth, up and down, all and around. Seems like you're working hard there. I know. <sighs> I hope he's really happy when he knows I did his jobs. Then he saw. Whoa! Look at that special special! It's long! It had Proteus, Cream Churns, Turkey, and a special tree. Wow! This train is huge! It looks very magnificent as well. Yes, and I'm going to be pushing it today. It's for a friend. It's a secret, though. I haven't told him. You sure that's a good idea? It seems really bad if you don't tell someone about doing their stuff. I think it'll... Be fine! Ugh, this is tiring. Are you sure you can push this special? Yes. Yes, I I'm positive that I can do it. Alright, whatever you say. With a grand final shove, he pushed it out of the yard. Then, the storm hit. There was water everywhere. Trees' leaves were flying all over the air. Wind gusted through parking lots and valleys. Water was rising fast. Some places had to close down due to floods. It made roofs collapse and trees fall down. It even made the rails slippery. Wow, it's storming really badly. I hope nothing bad happens. My wheels are slipping a lot. This train you have there, very special. He's right, it's nice. Oh, they complimented it. Hey, grand train you have there. I hope you deliver it on time. Even Mighty Mac were impressed. They were amazed. Luke thought, everyone seemingly really likes my train. Then, Proteus's light shut off. 
bad luck hit. The tracks were slippery, the trucks were heavy, the points were frozen, and the hill had sunk, leaving the track broken and twisted. Luke applied his brakes, but his wheels started to slip and slide. Oh my! Oh no! The trucks flew down into the ditch, tumbling and crashing. The tree flew, the truck smashed, and the bunting ejected into the air. The Proteus statue! Then, the churns exploded! Milk poured everywhere! The turkey was ruined. Meanwhile, the Proteus statue was rolling down the hill. The statue's getting away! It rolled and rolled until finally it stopped next to a brake van. I need to get help for this mess. At least a rainbow shined on a rainy day. Luke raced onto a dam. The water was rushing fast. Oh no! I can't get across! The water started surging the dam. Luke was holding on for dear life. The water had weakened ground around him. And then it happened. Oh no! went straight down with the stream, and everything went black. Huh? Where am I? You're in the middle of the water. What? How did I get here? Being in the middle of the water isn't that bad, you know? Well, I'd like to know how I got here. Okay, okay. Captain, I found you floating in the middle of the water and called me to pick you up. Now we're just waiting to be towed away. Oh, looks like we're being towed just then. Oh no, that's not us being towed. It's the water. Ah! The rushing water pulled them all the way down the stream. And then they slammed into the bushes. They were stuck. The water was rushing into Bulstrode's bunker fast.